think I would want to talk to you about. What do you think I would want to listen to you for? The first guys in the world who get beaten by life. He said that was easy, huh? <laughs> that was so easy, huh? Wow. <laughs> Why am I afraid? I'm successful. I'm, you know, I had some hard times, but I came back. But why am I afraid? Why, what am I afraid for? Like, I'm just afraid that somebody might think I'm a wussy or a wimp or something. Why am I so afraid of that? <clears throat> we need to understand this. Uh, this has been hugely misinterpreted and misunderstood on various dimensions, whether it's fear or love or anger or joy, we need to understand it's not about something, it's by itself. It is not that there must be something that you must be afraid of. It is not that there must be somebody that you are in love with. It is not that you are happy about something or miserable about something. You can be simply miserable. Hello? Thanks. Or uh, you can be simply happy. You can simply sit here just by yourself and be very loving. You can sit here and be terrified about nothing because human experience is not created from outside. Human experience is happening from within. So what happens from within may sometimes find outside stimulus, but you can work it even without external stimulus. Hello. All of your experts out here. <laughs> Without any external stimulus, you can create pain, you can create joy, you can create misery, you can create anger, love, fear, whatever you want. Because the seat of experience is within you. Only thing is you are not sitting there. You're crawling around it. You're supposed to be sitting there on the seat. If you are sitting on the seat of your experience, you would decide what should be the nature of your experience. Right now, because you're crawling around, something happens accidentally. We find an excuse, it's because of this guy I'm suffering. Even if he's not there, we would find somebody else. Hello? <laughs> if that guy is not there, we'll find somebody else. If that is not there, we'll find something else. So, this is not about something. This is about that you have not taken charge of the seat of your experience, that's all. You just need an excuse. And the world will, of course, the world is quite enthusiastic about providing you the excuses. <laughs> it will. <laughs> they will provide lots of excuses. <laughs> but. Believe me, if you were alone in the desert, you would still go through all these things without anybody around you, without any threat to your life. Yes or no? So, this is the fundamental flaw with life. Instead of fixing myself, I want to fix the whole world. Well, do what you want. You can't even fix one more person absolutely in your life. Hundred percent? Did you get anybody ever just the way you want, one hundred percent? If at all, if you're looking for that kind of success, hundred percent, you can only try with this guy. Try anybody else, you will fail. Yes or no? Hello?
try anybody, you will definitely fail. There's only one. This one, you could do him hundred percent the way you want. If you manage this one the way you want, where is the question of fear, suffering, misery, all this? This is not because of situations. This is because of the state we are in. Because no investment has been made for the being. First of all, we must decide, are we human beings or are we human creatures? The difference between a creature and a being is, a creature is a consequence of compulsive reactions to everything around us. That's a creature. A being means you know how to be. If you knew how to be, would you be blessed out? Or would you make yourself fearful or miserable or what? What's your choice? You must choose, I'm going to bless you. Just <laughs> Definitely, highest level of pleasantness, isn't it, for yourself? What you want for your neighbor may be debatable, but what you want for yourself is very clear, highest level of pleasantness. Why such a simple thing is hap not happening? It is not happening because, uh, you know, we gave you a very complex machine, but you don't even bother to read the user's manual. <laughs> Simply, somehow you want to do it. Such a complex machine, if you try to do it somehow, accidentally, oh, it will cause much pain. So, fear is not about something. Fear is just your inability to manage your thoughts. They are running away ahead of you. Fear is always about something that's yet to happen, isn't it? Yes. So that means, you are suffering something that does not exist. If you suffer something that does not exist, there are medically very bad terms for that. It's not about one human being, it's just literally ninety-nine percent of the human population is in this condition, different levels maybe. But ninety-nine percent of the human population is in this condition, they are suffering things which do not exist. What happened ten years ago, they still suffer. What may happen day after tomorrow, they already suffer. What happened ten years ago does not exist right now. What may happen day after tomorrow does not exist right now. But things that don't exist, they suffer. Simply because two major faculties, two major faculties that you have which sets you apart distinctly from other creatures is you have a very vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination. These two faculties, which are the best things you have, this is what most human beings are suffering. They are suffering their memory and they are suffering their imagination. These are the greatest tools you have. So, what should have been the most fantastic well-being? When I say well-being, you know Charles Darwin, that guy? Hello? He said, all of you were monkeys, not me. He, that all of you are monk, were monkeys and you became human. So, uh, essentially, on this planet, you are the peak of evolution. Do you agree with me or no? Yes. Hmm? So, if you are the peak of evolution, that means uh, you have come with the highest level of faculties. Because there are so many possibilities of being human, because your life is not fixed like that of a creature. When I say not fixed like a creature, for every other creature, nature has drawn two lines within which they live and die. The reason why an animal's life looks so much simpler and better is because there are no possibilities. So what human beings are suffering is their possibilities. If you destroy the possibilities, 
you will also be fine. If you want, we can have a portion of your brain removed. You will be so peaceful. You will not know fear, you will not know suffering, you will not know anxiety, you will not know nothing. <laughs> yes. All we have to do is take away the possibilities. With the possibilities, the problems are also gone. So right now the problem is the fantastic possibilities that have been invested in us. So to take away the possibilities, either we can remove your brain or we can soak, soak it in whiskey. Both ways you can do it. You take away the faculties, then you're okay. So, the problem is just this, that when you're given something so complex, you need to spend a certain amount of time knowing the nature of the machine that you're using. See, some people are ha handling these cameras. That's not a spacecraft. It is simple enough machine. But I'm sure these guys have spent years trying to know it the best. Just any of you get there and do it, what will happen out of it? Just see a simple machine like a camera. Yes or no? Somebody invested their life. The better they know it, the better they use it. Is it so? Yes. yes. Why is that not true with this? The better you know this, the better you use it, isn't it? So if you know it really well, people say you realized. <laughs>